Our next hydroponic headache is hermaphroditism. The vast majority of plants are actually hermaphrodites. Just look at this tomato plant here. It's got male and female organs in its flowers. However, about 10% of the species are what's called dioecious. That means they have male plants and female plants. And some of these are important crops. You think about hemp, hops, holly, skimmia. You always want the lovely fruits that are produced without males around. Uh, and then kiwi fruits, you want the vast majority to be, be female and only one male to pollinate them to produce a nice successful crop. And then two types of dioecious plants where you want males, Chinese yams, you want them to produce males so that there's no diversion away from filling those tubers, those lovely tubers with juicy goodness. And then ginkgos, you don't want females because the fruit stink of rancid, rotting flesh. So you don't want that. Um, hermaphroditism is normally caused by stressful situations, waterlogging, uh, even physical injury can uh, cause hermaphroditism. So uh, always be careful. And if you don't want hermaphrodites, keep your plants nice and stress-free. For some crops, the damage cause can be an eight, especially when you're trying to extract things from flower fruits and they're just full of seeds instead because they've been pollinated by the male flowers. So that's an eight. Commonness, it's a four. Stressful situations do occur when you're growing if you get things wrong. So uh, hermaphroditism is not too uncommon. Difficulties of treats are seven because once you've got those seeds developing, you can't really get rid of them. And bounce back abilities are four because if you've got a stressful environment, it might take some time to rectify that.